What's going on, everybody? It is your friend Keith here at Essex Recording Studios. It's like 9.30 on a Saturday night here in early February. And I've got yet another Les Paul to show you guys. I've got a billion of these things here at the studio. This I got from a guy who I purchased a an ESP from, actually. A really cool... Was it an ESP? No! It was a Jackson. A Jackson King V finished in like snow white and he hit me up the other day he lives hours and hours and hours away and everything he has is super super nice pristine condition and he said keith i've got something for you and this is it it's a les paul it's a studio it's a 2011 but it's a hell of a lot nicer than a lot of the studios you see today the, the top for starters it's got a maple top um i'll show you what the sides look like in a second here. But also look at the hardware. You've got this gorgeous gold hardware pickup color, uh, covers, the rhythm and treble pickup selector bezel there, all gold up here, vintage deluxe style Gibson tuners in gold, super, super nice. And this thing, I mean, there's a couple tiny little marks on it, but it's like new and the case is beautiful. I love these. Gibson USA cases. They're so plush, very nice, and um, they get the job done because he just, he put a, a bin bag, a garbage bag around this case and then slapped the label on it and you can see it looks like brand new. There's a little, little mark right there, but it really did a great job protecting the guitar. And uh, I can't remember if there is, oh, it looks like Got the latch stuck here. There we go. Can't remember if there's any paperwork. Oh, there is a paperwork in there. Cool. So you've got the paperwork. The uh, where is it? It's going to show the model number in here. There you go. March 16th, 2011. Les Paul Studio Wine Red and GH1 in the model number there. I don't know what GH1 is. It seems like every single guitar they've ever made ends with GH1. Guitar with humbuckers, one guitar, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so everything's all there, very cool. Go ahead and close that. And let's look at this guitar. I have to say, as far as modern studios go, this is the nicest one I've ever seen. You know, just for a, a standard issue, plain Jane studio. Very nice appointments, I mean, even the screws are gold. It's just very elegant looking. It all matches quite nice. Um, a lot of people kind of uh, don't like the studios and think of them as an entry model. Trust me, there's much more cheaper USA Gibson S Les Pauls than, than the studio. It's not the cheapest one, not by a long shot. They've got a one humbucker CM model that here in the UK they're selling for 399 British pounds, which is just insane that you get a, a USA Gibson new today for that cheap. When I was in high school, there's nothing under a grand. I don't think there's any such thing as a USA Gibson for under a grand. And then once in a while, they release a special series. Like I remember the Gothics came out and I think they were 999 or they were 1099, something like that. And it was mind blowing that you could get a USA Gibson for just under a thousand dollars. But yeah, going back to this one, check out the top here. So you can see, you know, it's not a veneer, it's actually got a good width maple top. It's beautiful looking, it really is. Um, I'll try and darken this up here to maybe pull out the wood grain a little bit better. And I think the only blemishes I can find, I mean, there's a little nick right there. And I think there's another one on the side over there. But aside from that, this thing is like a brand new guitar. It's got the pick guard. Go ahead and check out the back here. Just a gorgeous piece of wood and miles and miles apart from what the new studios are like. I will tell you that. The new studios feel cheap, but uh, not the case with this one.
And yeah, guys, I'm going to keep it short. I'm running out of battery here. This is a, this is a 2011 Gibson Studio. Les Paul. Wine red with gold hardware. Subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Facebook. It's Essex Recording Studios. And I'll see you soon in the next video, guys. Take it easy.